Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. So Cristiano Ronaldo is a superb dribbler and one-on-one -on -one player who strikes fear into a defender's heart, even at his relatively older age. The question becomes, what is he actually looking at? What indicators is he using to be able to beat defenders? So there was a really interesting study done that tracked his eye information. They actually had him in studio to do this while he was making moves on a defender. Now, of course, what they found is that to an extent, he looks at the ball in open space, but far more so, there's two key things that really underlie his dribbling decision-making. The first is that he really focuses on three joints, the hip, the knee, and the ankles of the defender. Those are his key indicators to tell him what angles the defender is coming in at. Secondly, is eye gaze or eye focus. He's really staring intently at all three of those angles and eliminating his eye gaze on other things that distract him from those three joints. So focusing on those three key indicators while eliminating all the other distractions or noise gives him clear, organized, reliable information, which then improves his ability to anticipate and make decisions, which then leads to better outcomes with his dribble. On the other hand, the team also tracked the eye movements of the defender who was an amateur and they found that he really focused on the ball and he didn't really have much focus with his eyes. It was really scattered, which then leads to scattered, disorganized information, which impairs decision making, decreases anticipation and reaction time, and therefore leads to worse outcomes. All in all, a really interesting sports science study and I've linked to the full video in the description below if you want to watch the original video.